welcome back another video today we're going to talk about you know um violence in the home domestic violence amongst couples stuff like that i did a video a while back showing um a young lady who was faking and so forth to you know be in distress um using it as a tactic to manipulate and later admitted it but this one's on the other side this is a guy, you know, is part two that got sent to me from according to part one, which I don't have, was um, the guy going mad, tearing the doors off the hinges and whatnot. That's where it kind of picked up from. So part two, which I'm going to let you see, then we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. Um, he's basically upset about something. Now, it appears, based off the information there, okay, that this is about, you know, not being able to, 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 to have, to get sex when he wants it in his house, okay? That's what this looks like. That's where it looks like it's going with this. And so, um, you know, uh, argument. It wasn't really an argument. It was just a, a, a tantrum thrown by this individual, you know, which led to uh, being enraged, which led to him grabbing an assault rifle. Okay. Now he did say she hit him, but that doesn't justify you going grab an assault rifle. Way out of line, bro. Way out of line. This is the type of stuff that leads to um, bodily harm and uh, in a lot of cases death so let's look at the video we're gonna come on, on back on the other side and we're gonna go um, and talk about it it's not right I don't care how mad you are of stuff or whatever it's not right please do not do this while the kids are in there they're gonna get scared I'm already scared Leon please don't do that you're gonna break my stuff please don't I'm not that. please don't do that just leave it up I'm Leon please I'm, you, bitch. I'm, not I'm asking you. you nicely I'm, not you, bitch. I'm asking you nicely I'm not, you. I'm not using vulgar language I'm, not, I'm, not I'm asking so. you nicely please don't provoke I'm not, I'm not, me because you, you keep doing it Lord oh, please you you me this time. You, Leon please don't this you're Leon Leon the kids Leon, you just broke this off the hedges too. It's my house. You broke that off the hedges though. It's my house. That's that's very vulgar. That's it's a temper. Hit me again, Justin. Come on, I don't want to touch you. I again. never touch you and I never bother you. you I wasn't touching you just fish. now. No, you hit me in the closet. I Leon, I came at when you put your hand on no, me and tried to provoke me. Leon, you even said you I got you on tape saying you provoked me. Don't do that, Leon. Don't do that. This is why I can't I can't come back here. I can't. I can't. I can't get ass when I want You're not going to because of the type of person you are. You scare me. Then hurry up and get the fuck you out scare there. me. Then hurry up and get out there. You scare me. Hurry up and get and out there. You scare my kids. Hurry up and get no, out I'm going to get out when, I, when you give me a bump. I'm going to get out. No. I don't give a damn how you feel, man. You scare me when my kids are here. You do this all the time. You do it with Destiny and Isaiah and you do it with everybody else. There's no forgiving that. You just took the door off the hinges. I have other video of you being very destructive. I'm, per, I'm, I'm protecting myself and my kids. I don't care if I got to get a lawyer out here to show what you do to me. That's what you do. Look at, look at this over, over off the hinges while I'm in the room. I got the whole thing of you talking about ass. This is what ass does to you. You got life. three kids that's in there. I don't care. This is three kids in there. You don't do that in front of kids. You don't do that in front of kids. Go ahead, get riled up. Okay. No, I'm not getting riled up because I'm not going to let you do that to me. You're not going to destroy nothing I have. You're not going to destroy nothing I have. Now, you heard or you saw that when he reached for the phone, he says, hit me again. I'm going to shoot you. Now, again, I don't know the total situation, but I'm judging the behavior. The behavior of that man is out of line, crazy. You're going to grab an assault rifle? An assault rifle. Man, listen. Listen, and I gotta, you know, for the ladies, gotta talk to y'all, man, um, on this one. Because this is, this happens frequent. Now, you heard towards the end, um, she was stating that this was about ass. 
the rage, I'm not definitely sure that this is why this argument took place, but it seemed like it was about him not being able to get that cat when he wanted it. It's his house, but he won't cat, he won't ass, he won't ass to the point where he gets in rage. He's grabbing an assault rifle. This is how people get hurt, man. This is this is not cool. Then you're going to cock it back too. You're going to put one in the chamber. Right? Now, and again, they do, uh, they ask you, they only ask you a mental uh, health, mental health questions when you're getting your, uh, uh, to go in to get a firearm. But they don't evaluate the temperament of people. Do people have anger problems that are get, getting these weapons in their possessions? Because this individual clearly has an anger problem that he doesn't know how to control when he doesn't get something his way to the extremes of saying, if you hit me, I'm going to shoot you. This is supposed to be somebody who you supposedly are with, supposedly care for, but it goes from zero to a thousand in a split second just like that because you want ass and can't have ass ladies when you're dealing with these guys right it starts off cool and, and stuff in the beginning a lot of you uh, only have men who want ass from you right uh, the whole time, that's all you were, was something to to give to to have the convenience of of sex. It was cheaper to be your boyfriend or your man, so they became your man. They didn't want to go out and buy prostitutes and all of that. It was cheaper to become your boyfriend or your man, so they became that. And this is the ones. Uh, everything that conversation turns into something sexual. You talking about, oh, babe, I had a hard day. Well, I got something hard for you, harder than the day you had. If you still need something hard, everything turns into something. Every conversation turns into something sexual. You may think it's cute in the beginning, but those little little conversations and stuff. Um, turns into these type of situations that you just seen in this video. You know, um, and that's that's what happens. The selection of someone's temperament. If you see someone reacting, and I'm, I guarantee that's not the first time that they've reacted that way that he's reacted that way because uh, that's a, 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 a that's a pattern to go from that extreme to pulling out an assault rifle saying that you're gonna go ahead and shoot someone that's extreme this is a, 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 a an, an individual with um, anger issues person who cannot control their anger i always tell you about that these are dangerous people because at what point does that anger carry forward to where it is um unretractable so where they can't pull it back in and they go too far because of the anger and they end up hurting someone or killing someone taking someone's life if y'all look look on youtube look around there's Numerous murder suicides now, killings, domestic violence uh, killings with couples happening all the time. More frequent than you think. These are happening every, every, every other day now. And so there's signs of, of that leads up to this. When you have someone and they're, and they're jealous, it may seem cute in the beginning. Oh, my boo is so they, 
they want to know they're constantly checking in on you or they get mad because you might have took too long coming back from the store or something you wore. They didn't like what you had on. So they get mad. They get in an argument ensues after that. This is how all of this stuff kicks off. This is how it starts. Then somebody's reading a eulogy for you. Once it goes too far. It's signs. You're always going to see signs within someone. Listen, if you got to get that mad. Because you can't have some ass. Something is wrong. Something's wrong. More than likely, the re the relationship or whatever was built off the wrong foundation to begin with. It wasn't built off a healthy foundation to begin with. This is one of these things that I just mentioned and talked about. This was built off of someone who more than likely had a sexual addiction. Um, got with someone who would suffice for and be able to um, be basically a supply for their addiction. And, you know, basically carried it on out in, in, the, in the form of being a relationship. But that person was actually uh, the, the, the drug supply for the sexual addiction. It can go either way, but in, in, in regards to this particular scene that we're looking at, and this happens with a lot of women, um, you're just, you're, you're the dope. What you have between your legs is the drug. Too many of males that are out there. And you will get into situations with someone who has an addiction to what's between your legs. They'll tell you anything. They'll sell you any dream. Um, they'll lie to you. They'll, they'll do whatever. To keep that drug supply ready and near them. And when it happens to appear that you're holding the drug back. And they need a hit. You know how it go with regular drug addicts. Man, they go off. They're not themselves. Huh? In the hood, you see plenty of people have been robbed, killed, or whatever, over drugs. Ladies, you have to understand many of males, it's a distinction. I didn't say men, there's a distinction. Many of males have only the interest in you for the drug that you can supply that's between your legs. And if you don't understand that and really properly vet the person you're getting with to make sure that they're not getting with you because of the supply to feed their addiction to sex, then you're going to end up in one of these type of situations. Period. You have to be aware of that. You have to be conscientious that most of the time you're attracting someone who has an addiction to sex, especially if you're attractive, you have a nice body, nice shape. But an addict will take whatever they can take. That's why cheating goes on so much because a lot of you are just getting with people who have sexual addictions and they're only looking to hook up with people to have ready available supply to feed their sexual addiction. A sex addiction is no different than a heroin addiction, crack addiction, meth addiction. An addiction is addiction. As I understand it, it's not really the drug. 
it's the chemicals that it causes to, to, to produce in the brain, the biological effects that gets you hooked anyway. So when you have a person who cannot control that, they're not going to be any good to you. Because they're no different than a, than a meth addict or a crack addict, pill popper, whatever you want to call it. You just don't know that you're the drug and you're being used as somebody's fix and understand that that's all I have to say for this video um, hit the like button share subscribe if you haven't subscribed um, if you still need one-on-one -on -one consultations hit the link in the description box for one-on-one -on -one. And uh, make sure y'all keeping yourselves safe out there. Till next time, have a good one.